people don't necessarily head for Siberia voluntarily. Time for gulag, comrades. Hello, everyone. But once they're here, they soon learn to love the tiger intimately. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Now, the longest railway in the world is supposed to be completed here. Yes, the Trans-Siberian Railway is under construction today. You had a key ministry within the Tsarist Empire. English language, but Russia. Ooh, look That's at that. That's why the Tsar has entrusted you with this prestigious project. Yes. So not quite yet comrade yet, but we'll get there Greatness soon enough. Greatness lies ahead. Soon it will be completed, the railway line that crosses the continent. Oh, wow, look at this giant lake. But the most important leg is still missing. The section all around Lake Baikal. The golden clasp of the Russian belt of steel. The terrain along the lake shore is treacherous and requires meticulous preparation. Take the necessary measures so that construction can begin soon. Okay. First of all, feeder routes to the shores of Lake Baikal must be built so that supplies of materials always remain insured. This is going to be a long one then, boys. Welcome back, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button to let me know you'd like to see more of this fantastic game. Transport Fever 2 available on December 11th. Make sure you pick it up because it's a lot of fun so far. I see we have a steel mill over here as well as a coal mine and also an iron ore mine, so this might be a little too close to connect with the train. Maybe the iron ore, but the uh, coal right here is perfect for horse-drawn carriages. It also seems like there's some pre-designed train lines here that go to multiple cities. It looks like we have to connect uh, Port Baikal and uh, Balkalusk and all. I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce these cities, but it is clear that we need to connect them together. So let's go ahead and... Uh, well, let's see, wait, it's ensure that steel production is collected and connected to these cities. So that's uh, this city here, uh, the port, uh, this one here, and then the one over there. So it looks like this city gets left out of it for now. <laughs> I guess we don't have to connect this via train, but it might be a good idea since we're building a railway to have everything connected for future goals. I'm trying to anticipate what the game might throw at me in the future for connecting uh, the rail uh, railroad line for passengers or for supply whatnot, so we're going to try to stay up top here and stay on budget. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, connect everything up here. The Tsar has uh, gloriously appointed us in order to build this railroad, so we're going to try to keep things as close to 100 uh, kilometers per hour as we can, but there's going to be some tight turns and whatnot around here. So anyway, welcome back to all of you. I'm so excited to continue on with the missions. We're getting towards the end of the first chapter, which means the uh, early 1900s are going to be behind us soon, and we'll probably be into the 50s uh, for the next one, the next leg of the race. Let's go ahead and try to do a um, maybe a through station here. I think we'll build a passenger station, because I don't know if we have to deliver cargo here, but we can always upgrade these... Uh, stations to have cargo terminals too which is super helpful let's try to build over here maybe there we go we have to move buildings out of the way sorry but uh you're in the way of progress all right we're going to connect everything up with a train line then apparently we need to build a giant uh i i, I would assume if we're going to get across this lake we need to build a bridge somewhere in order to get across so it looks like the only way we can do it is either swinging up around the lake which seems to be a viable solution because they built a a station there to try to kind of convince us to do that but also there's a large red area where we're not allowed to build in i think are we allowed to build here let's see uh prohibited area oh so i'm not allowed to build up there or around so uh, i guess the czar wants us to connect uh, lo looks like there's a giant train line swinging through the mountains here and then of course over here so if we're gonna cr we gotta cross somewhere and that's probably gonna have to be right here between the port Wow, that's going to be a gargantuan train line. Are you sure we're supposed to do that? I guess so, because these cities need to be connected. So, all right, let's continue on then building our tracks. Love this game so far. And now, finally, we get a real good focus on building large train lines. So this Trans-Siberian Railroad should be able to do it. And let's go ahead and continue up to here. Excellent. Now, we're not allowed to build up there. So I can't connect around the, uh, the lake like I was hoping. So I guess we'll have to build some sort of a connection... Uh, the most narrow of spaces is here, but it's really not even that narrow at all. Um, so I guess we'll just try to continue on. Uh, I think we'll build a some sort of a depot or something here, or rather a bridge here. Oh man, I don't even know if we're allowed to do this. Uh, Alright, connect these two cities together. Itchbusk and Port Baikal. Ah, uh, maybe we're going to be working on a bridge or something at this point. I wonder if it'll allow me to build a big bridge here. Let's see. 
If we try to build a bridge, I wonder what it'll say. Oh, it's a prohibited area as well, so I can't build across the lake even if we had the materials for it. So the game will not let us build across the lake. So, I guess we're going to be building a bridge out of those steel mills. So let's connect these together. Uh, we also need to connect this city. I think eventually they want us to build around the lake. But first, we have to do our first step. So that makes sense. So let's build a small winding railroad here. So I'm trying to learn the game's limitations and rules playing for the first time again each of these missions. Quite obvious, YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hard to watch. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, and it looks like we can connect the steel mill via the railroad, too. So can we build a bridge here? Ah, uh, yes, we can. Perfect. Uh, I think we'll build our station first. So let's go ahead and build a cargo depot here. And it looks like we'll be able to deliver iron ore here, too. So let's build two separate train lines. The iron ore's got a long distance to go, but the uh, coal is pretty nearby, so we'll try to build onto that. Also, one thing in the game that I don't like is it, it's like in notches. It's pre-designed angles, so there's no way to like perfectly set this thing up with being too close. Let's see if we can get it to connect, though. There we go. All right, and that should be just fine. I love the music as well. The music is so comrade. I love it. Beautiful. All right, let's build our river bridge there. Perfect. Oh, that looks pretty nice. All right. And then we need to connect uh, this up via rail and also road. So we'll build our uh, railroad line first. Actually, I forgot to build a station with multiple ones. That's okay. Cool thing in this game is that you can build a second platform if you want to, or a second track. So I think what I'll do is I'll just redesign the station. That'll make it a little bit easier. So we'll back that up a little bit. Go for train building cargo hub of two at 120 meters. There we go. That should be much better. So it looks like it's going to be off a little bit. So I'll have to build the road going back there. There we go. We'll just build a road behind it. Boom, boom. All right, so let's connect this first one to the left and then the one on the right. So cargo should be able to be picked up and delivered here. So we'll have one train line to pick up the steel and one train line to go pick up the iron ore. Oh, that's pretty... That's pretty deep cut into the land. There we go. Let's try not to have these gargantuan slashes in the land if we can help it. But as he did say, it's pretty uh, rough of terrain around the shoreline. Okay, let's build a station now. And I think we'll build a double just in case, too. Just, just in case. And we may have to build a little road to connect. Actually, can I build it up here? Ah, yes. Perfect. And we'll build this one on the inside. Closest to the river, or to the uh, lake. Alright, now, just a road to get from the coal mine over to the, uh, over to the steel mill. Wow, look at that railroad crossing. I don't want something like that. Let's build a smaller road. We'll have it hug the train line. Until it must cross towards here. There we go. And right there. There, that should do nicely. Not a bad crossing. Alright, now, time for buildings to pick up and drop off. So we want a building here to pick up the coal. Wow, it's got to be like deep underground. Let's try to build it over here. There, that looks better. That's a much better look. And then we should be able to drop off over here for the coal. So we'll get some horse-drawn carriages. So let's go with the uh, depot. Should be another road depot here. There it is. All right, now we need to get ourselves a train depot set up as well. So we'll need one for this train line. I guess we'll keep them separated. We are starting with $100 million. And uh, so I guess we'll, we'll build a train depot for each section of the line. So we'll build one there for the steel line or rather iron ore line, and then one for the steel mill over here. So I'll build one on this side. Too bad I can't bring that up a little bit. Okay, and then uh, everything should be connected now. Now we just need to produce steel. So let's go ahead and begin that. Uh, let's see, tracks to connect our first train line to the city. Beautiful. And one to connect this train line to the iron ore line. Gorgeous. All right, let's get ourselves some trains. So first vehicle. Oh wow, look at all the Russian class trains that we have. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Steel's going to be pretty heavy. 
So what do we got here for power? 530? Looks like they're all pretty, pretty powerful trains. Let's start with the big boys. This actually was retired in 1940. They stopped building it. That must have been a good car, that, or a good train. So let's get some cars then for the coal. So, or, or iron ore. So we'll buy, uh, let's see, four of those. Maybe five. Let's do five. One, two, th why does it do that? Looks like it's spread out a little bit. Minus old vehicle value. Oh, it's the uh, gondola for the uh, coal, I think, maybe. For the actual train itself. Why is it spread out like that? That's kind of weird. One, two, three, four, five, it looks like. Okay. So let's go ahead and buy that one. And we'll set up our other, tr tr we'll set up our train lines after we buy our other train. There we go. So now let's buy vehicles. Now, do we have to bring it into the city? Uh, looks like there's a de development point there, but we'll do that later. First, we just need to make the steel. So uh, I guess we'll just uh, get road vehicles ready now. So what do we got here? First, our first trucks. Uh, those are kind of weird. Let's go with the, the horse-drawn carriages. Yeah, let's just go with those. I think they'll fit a little bit better. What's the difference here? Emissions are 64, 62. How can a horse have more, <laughs> almost as much emissions as a diesel engine? I don't think so. Top speed is 20 no matter what, though. So what's the difference between these? Looks like they can haul the same. Let's just go with the regular Asian uh, flatbed horse. So let's go with uh, 10 of those to call, haul the coal to keep up with steel production. And then now let's start making our lines. So line number one is going to be our train line going from the iron ore mine to the steel mill along the river. Excellent. And then the next line is going to be from the coal mine to the steel mill. So coal and iron equals steel. Perfect. Uh, apparently you can't find a road. Uh, station types do not match. Station types do not match truck and train station. Well, this is a truck depot here. Oh, I clicked on the actual train station. I was thinking, oh, did I build a passenger station? All right, everything should be ready to go now. So let's assign our lines. Uh, let's go to our vehicle depots and first go to our, yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna start producing stuff. Finally, we can start on the road of progress, boys. Let's build that gulag. Next is the road vehicles one through 10 on line two, beautiful, cool. All right, everything's going. So now we should see uh, some steel produced here soon, iron ore uh, being dug out of the wonderful little iron ore mine by the lake. And it looks like our army is on the way to start transporting coal. Wow, look at that, three horses. That's cool. All right, now we just need to produce steel. Well, so far so good. Everything got nicely connected. So the game is probably going to make us do something with ships to go across the lake. I wonder what this is going to be, maybe to ferry passengers back and forth. But eventually we're going to have to build through what looks to be very treacherous terrain. And I can see that perhaps we could go up this way, maybe build a tunnel through here, and then continue around along the uh, shoreline or something like that. Ah, this is going to be really unique to build along. I love rocky terrain building through it. Mm, I bet we're going to have to build a maybe tunnels or something like that. We have stone mines here, so there's going to be a purpose for that eventually. I wonder if we could start connecting the towns together. Hmm. Now we actually have a munitions supply here, so perhaps we'll be building weapons at some point. I see munitions, I see stone, we see the iron ore mine. Looks like there's a logging camp up here too, so we'll probably need that for something. At some point we'll have to probably build like a horse-drawn carriage to bring things into town and possibly put it under the uh, train line. All right, so it should be ready to start picking up coal. Our first train is uh, ready to go. Or rather, iron ore is what we want to see it pick up. Line 1 should be dropping off iron ore. So let's see here. 0 out of 35. It's set to stone. That should be... Ah, I know why it's not picking up. Let's put this train on stop for a second. I don't want it to pick up just yet. Uh, in order for the game to recognize what cargo needs to be delivered, you have to build the road first. Sometimes I forget to, uh, you know, when we don't have a station that's connected, the game won't recognize it yet because there's no technical way for it to be delivered just across the street. So let's go ahead and activate the train again. And we should start seeing iron ore being picked up. There we go. Now it's starting to drop it off. Wow, that's a lot of production. All right, we'll start with a few cars just to get things started on our first delivery. And it looks like coal is being brought in too. Yep, lots of coal sitting there. Beautiful. So they'll have plenty of coal ready to start immediately processing that iron ore. Excellent. As soon as our first delivery is in, our goal will be complete. So let's speed things up and maybe add to a few more, uh, maybe a few more carts. Let's buy uh, maybe like five more. 
Now let's go with uh, five more Asian horse drawn whatnots. There we go. All right, 11 to 15 to line two. Beautiful. All right, and there's our train. The golden clasp for the Russian belt of steel isn't called that for nothing. One day it will encircle Lake Baikal like a piece of jewelry. The construction calls for extraordinary skill. And the whole thing costs a huge pile of money. Get started on creating the first stage of the line, which will go down in history as a masterpiece in the art of engineering. Good planning is essential. The surveying work shows that two possible routes suggest themselves for the line. You have the final say. Hmm. Uh, a route with a longer construction time but with low costs? Uh, a route with shorter construction time but with higher material costs? Uh, longer construction time or shorter construction time? Well, to be honest, I'd like to see a longer train line. Um, I'd like to see exact... I wish it would tell me more information, but what I'd like to see is like a really long, cool, winding train line through there. So let's go with a longer construction time but with lower material costs. Let's try that. Well, that's the way it should be. All that has to be done now is to have everything brought to the construction site. Okay. Supply the first construction site with steel. All right, so now we got to go with steel. I wonder if the other option would have required more stone, but I'm sure we're going to need that at some point. All right, we did buy our train for steel, did we not? Or at least we're going to. So we have a train ready to go for that. So we should be able to connect between the town and there now. So that's good. Glad we set that up. Saved us a little bit of time. I could already the smell Irkutsk what they got. The Association of Sable Breeders asks for help. You're supposed to advertise the association's next meeting by announcing it loudly all over town. You want me to announce a, a meeting? Uh, what kind of a meeting? <clears throat> of the people? Uh-oh. Okay, let's go back and forth between these two now. Okay, so that should take us to... Uh, I'll accept that. Take a walk through town. Advertise for the worthy cause of sable breeding. Establish a bus route with three stations and drive it. Uh, at Port Baikal or where? Advertising. Uh, what would be a good... Well, I guess we'll work at the port since we're here. So let's do a small bus line then. For that secondary goal. It's kind of nice. Gives you things to do while you're waiting. Uh, we need a road depot here on this side. Rather than building more bridges, it'll be cheaper to just build a road depot. Can I angle this somewhere? Oh, perfect. We can fit it over here. All right. Now let's build three bus stops as requested. So, one, two, three. Perfect. Now they want me to... Uh, they want me to drive it. I wonder what that means. Uh, let's go with the... Oh. Passengers. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's buy five of these. That's a good start. Oh, we need to make a new line as well. Okay, back to lines. New line from the first, second, and third stops. And that should be fine. All right, now let's assign that to the line. And good. All right, now it says uh, establish a bus route with three stations and drive it. What does that mean to Excellent. drive it? The first leg has been completed. Tsar Nicholas is extremely pleased. Oh, good. But the terrain is treacherous. A muddy quagmire in the summer, frozen solid in winter. Thanks to stable steel structures, the tracks are luckily going to stay right where they are. Nothing happens without materials. Now make sure that they are ready and waiting by the time the next leg is to be completed. I knew it. The second line needs to be supplied with stone. Well, we're not allowed to build a, a railroad across the river or the lake, so it might be best to use a harbor. So we need to get it down there. So I suppose we just build a... Okay, we can build a little cargo terminal here and then supply it to uh, there. And then we can just bring it down with horse-drawn carriages to the A station. group of hunting tourists from Europe is eager to shoot a bear. As luck would have it, construction work has driven off most of the bears. But as for the women, they are relatives of the Tsarina herself. So a bear is an absolute must. The circus currently performing in the Irkutsk has a tired old circus bear. Maybe things could work out in the end. You want me to get a circus bear and like pretend like it's a wild bear? Okay. 
The circus wants to move on as early as tomorrow. But if a big enough audience can be organized, it might stay for an extra performance. Oh, did I not build a... Oh, I thought I could click tracks. All right, so the first steel mill is working. Good. All right, now we're just working on uh, building our cargo station. Uh, advertising zero out of three. I thought I did that. Establish a bus route. Is it? Am I in the wrong town? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Establish a bus route with three stations and drive it. What does that mean, Dri drive it? You want me to actually, like, sit on it? Okay, we're driving. Woo! Okay, cool. All right, did I do it? Ah, we'll come back to that one. I want to stay focused on the uh, second construction site, which is delivering stone now for tunnels. Okay, so back to the tracks. And I think what I'll do is just have it use this train line here. Since we've already got one established, we'll build a second one later. But that'll be easy for now. And it looks like we need a depot here. So let's build it in town. Always looks nice when it's near civilization. Uh, but we will need to build it a little bit away. Just so we have space to connect. And also possibly expand our terminal a little bit more. I bet the end of our missions will be like, uh, you know, build a... Uh, once we build the train line, it'll, it'll be about connecting and delivering people to that actual destination. Uh, let's try to build it over here. So this is our cargo depot here. So let's build that, and then connect it via tracks. Okay, so now we should be able to get stone here. Now we'll just build a truck depot inside of town, maybe towards the end here. Oh, we'll have to build a road up there. So let's build this close to the lake, and then back this way. Cool. And we'll have to build a road depot. Then we'll get that other goal completed soon about advertising. That one's going to be fairly easy once we figure out what to do. All right, now we're transporting cargo again. Let's buy 10. And let's build ourselves a line. Love setting up lines in this game. It's very easy. Good. I, I really love the uh, parts in the game where you're building, like, uh, you know, large construction sites. In the first game, if you can remember, there's a mission where you build the uh, Panama Canal, I believe it is. Yeah, the Panama Canal, and it's just gorgeous. Really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and build or connect these roads and trucks. There we go. And now we just need to buy a train to go back and forth. So let's do a new line from here. Uh, to here. Looks like this one can't be too long, this train. It seems like it's got to be a little shorter. Cargo stations are not too long here. Uh, let's go with our typical train. We'll keep going for this, like, Russian class OB. It seems to be a really reliable one. And we need to deliver stone, so let's go with four cars. We'll buy that one and assign it to line six. Perfect. Yeah, the first couple of runs, there won't be any stone waiting, but it looks like it's coming through now. And excellent, our road was completed. Oh, it looks like the town upgraded it itself. They upgraded our dirt road. Perfect. All right, so now we can deliver stone, so that'll be done. Okay, now build, bring an audience to the circus. Where's that? Bring an audience to the circus. Oh, so just maybe build a bridge and... Let's build a bridge and then... Uh... Oh, doesn't look like I can do that. I guess we'll have to back the road up a little bit. We'll just take buses there. Sorry, folks. In the way of progress. All right, let's see. Let's build a little wider road here. Wow, look at that. Better than building a train, I guess. I'll right, we'll build a little area here. Actually, I don't know if that's to connect directly to it. Ah, it does. Seems like there needs to be a little path coming out. All right, let's build a bus stop here. Actually, is this that town? Oh, this is another town. Okay. So let's go for bus stops here. We also need another road depot. I guess it'll be a good idea to have a road depot in each town. That way we can uh, build more vehicles directly and not have to wait if we end up building more stops. Okay, let's go with uh, bus stops now. And we'll try to bring people to the circus. So let's try putting a stop here, here few more inside the busier parts of town. One up here. 
and then one back here before it comes to an end. Okay, now we've got our stations down. Let's build a new line, and we'll start here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back to London Road again. Perfect. Now let's buy our vehicles, and it has to be passengers, so let's buy ten. Cool. Well, I'm glad they started us out with, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. It didn't seem like there was any difficulty in the game for the setting. I'm kind of confused because it's, like, it's more about, like, playing the mission than it is, like, earning money or anything like that. It's kind of kind of fun that it's about completing the objectives uh, than worrying about, like, money coming in. So that's kind of nice. All right, looks like the circus should be ready. Uh, so b b bring an audience to the circus, so that's good. Advertising. Uh, let's see, take a walk on the town through town and advertise for the worthy cause of sable breeding. Um, establish a bus route with three stations and drive it. Bus route with three stations. Oh, you know what? I built bus stops. Maybe they want stations for real. This would be a bus station. Okay. So maybe we can build it between three towns. Let's try to do it at a bigger town. Well, we built one there and there. At least that'll help us to get some extra money and... Good news, if I ever build a uh, passenger station here, we can actually just put another stop there and people can switch over to the actual bus station, rather, or rather, the uh, train station versus a bus station. All right, let's try to build three stations then instead of stops. Specifically, it says stations, so that's something to keep in mind. Looks like we got a red warning at the top, too. We'll check that out in a minute. Find out what the problem is. All right, now, let's assign a bus depot here, too. Vehicle Depot, there it is, and we'll build that right next to this one. And we'll do three bus stops here to make it simple. One, two, three. Cool. And let's buy maybe five vehicles. Hopefully we're delivering stone now. All right, that one should be taken care of, hopefully. Oh, wait a minute, advertising two out of three. Does it not recognize that I built a third one? Establish a bus route with three stations and drive it. Um, well, this is one, two, three. We'll check on that again. Let's check the stone line. Ah, good. The stone is finally being picked up and delivered. What a disgrace. In reality, the Association of Sable Breeders turned out to be a group of subversive subjects who are conspiring to overthrow the Tsar. Oh, no. You must prevent the meeting at all costs. Precise filtering will make the three rendezvous points visible with certainty. Uh, he wants me to use a filter to f Wait, what's the alerts first? Uh, stations report problems, line 7. Uh, what's the problem with line 7? Line 7's problem is that I bought cargo rather than passenger wagons, I think. That would be the problem. Well, line 7 is actually the line that, uh, we need to destroy, I think. So hold on, let's, one thing at a time. Let's first start find out where people are meeting. So how do I do that? Precise filtering will make three rendezvous points precise. Okay, where's everybody meeting? Can't let the commies meet. Also, we're bringing an audience to the circus. Is that not taking place? Nobody's coming over here? Oh, of course, because we have the wrong vehicle type. All right, let's correct that one. We'll finish that. I get so excited to start a line, sometimes I forget exactly which one is which. It's much easier when you get trucks, because instead of it just being a horse-drawn carriage, it actually becomes... Oh, cool. New boxcars and gondolas. Oh, and a flat car with steaks. Mm, I love steak. Tasty. All right, let's go ahead and go back to line... What was it? Seven? And we'll just get rid of these road vehicles. Super easy to do. Not even a problem at all. So line seven, let's buy some vehicles for that. So buy vehicles, passenger. Cool, ten vehicles ready to go. And these should make some cash to make up for my earlier oversight. Excellent. Okay, now prevent the meeting, zero out of three. So it says precise filtering. Okay, I've not really used the filters too far, so let's see what we're looking for. Uh, private transport versus public transport, residential. Uh, track speed limits, land use, navigation, waters, station conditions. Oh, let's see if we can find out where they're really going. Hmm. Street traffic. Does that include pedestrian? 
HUD icon filter. Emissions. Both noise and... Yeah, I could understand that being a thing. Nobody wants to live next to a noisy airport. Land use. I think this is it here. Destinations. We want to find out where people are going. So it should be public transport, high and green. So residential. I guess we have all set up for all cities. Those are the different colored lines. Hmm. Oh, and it looks like 36 out of 40, 37 out of 40 uh, stone has been delivered. Cool. All right, we'll uh, come back to the meeting one soon. The geopolitical situation is coming to a head. Trouble is brewing on the eastern borders of the Empire. Time is short. See to it that the route is completed in good time so that the necessary logistics infrastructure is ready if worst comes to worst. The Tsar cannot be disappointed under any circumstances. In other words, get going. Hurry up. Get everything that's needed here quickly so that the railroad is completed on time. All right, so now the circus job is done. They want uh, logs now for the circus. So let's go ahead and do a cargo delivery over there now. All right, that'll be an easy one. Well, I could have used those uh, <laughs> those vehicles I had before that were cargo. I could have just switched them over here. So I guess uh, not too not too bad. Could have actually used them. Okay, now let's connect this line. So from there to there, we don't want to upset the people of the town. And let's buy some more vehicles now. All right, let's use. I like these ones better long distance to go so 10 vehicles will be fine and let's assign those to the new line which material is, is constantly disappearing from the construction ten. sites and just what might be the cause there are rumors that a mysterious creature is prowling around the tiger a well-known shaman supposedly knows what to do okay the shaman can be found on a mountain in the southeast the shaman has spoken. There's no doubt that the mysterious monster of the taiga is responsible. The only way it can be appeased is with offerings of precious jewels. The gemstones are supposed to be found on the steepest slope to the southwest. I will worry about these warnings later. Let's keep knocking out these goals. We're on a roll. Okay, so dig up gemstones. Uh... The gemstones are supposed to be found on the steepest slope to the southwest. Well, which way is north in the game? Is there a way to tell? I don't see a compass immediately available. Um, well, maybe it's marked by a little highlighted area. Let's take a look. And he said steepest slope, so these are, these are pretty steep here, but also over here. Let's look for any sort of blue or red circles. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see, dig up the gemstones. Gemstones are, are found in the steepest slope to the southwest. How would I know which way is north? Well, if we assume this is north, this is kind of how we, uh, we're we looking at things. So maybe it's over here? South, southwest, maybe? Like over here? Well, I don't know how I would find these. Ah, uh, that looks suspicious. A little tree out in the middle of nowhere? Okay, let's try that. Sometimes you got to terraform to quote unquote dig. Nope, that's not it. That looked promising. All right, we'll have to come back to that one too. Okay, so now we need to uh, stop the meeting. I'm going to have to find that with the other thing. The supply ringmaster logs. is Good. willing to hand over the tired bear to you for a supply of logs. He can use them to replace the rotten poles for the big tub. All right, the logs are going to the circus. That's good. Looks like they are loading up with logs. I see them in the back. Good. All right, ten logs to be delivered there. Okay, we need to deliver... Wait, deliver the third... Oh, deliver to the third construction sites. Oh, we need to go even further now. Ah, looks like the route is opened up. Oh, cool. We get to deliver there now. Oh, that's really cool. Wait a minute, how do I get stone over here? I'd have to ship it across, wouldn't I? 
So we have to make a cargo train now to go to the next section. Okay, so we'll know now that we can ship the, uh, the stone here. So let's buy a ship, so we have to go across the, the lake. So let's see, uh, we'll go with the Klondike here and try to ship stone that way. Okay, so Klondike is going to ship supply from here to there. So it's gonna ship stone. And our other car should be ready. Now we have to reconvert this to steel and stone. So right now it's only set to deliver steel. So let's see here. Lots of, lots of steel waiting, I'm assuming. Okay, we have to redesign this line. So line three needs to be modified. So line three needs to stop here at the cargo station to pick up the stone, and then it can proceed to the next co uh, construction site there. All right, cool. I like that. I like the long route. That's cool. I like that. Um, so let's try. Uh, then it should be able to go back to the cargo station. So port... No, it should actually go to port by call first. Let's move that up to the top. Is there a way to move these? Uh, I don't know if I can reposition these. Wow, the circus music playing now. Let's redesign our route. Okay, so first, we want it to stop at the steel mill and pick up steel. Then we want it to stop here and pick up stone. And then we want it to go all the way up here and uh, drop off all the goods and then return back to uh, port, port by call. All right, cool. I might have had that right, but we're good now. Uh, let's go back to the train. Where is that pesky train at? He must be in training. Uh, all right, let's go back to our uh, depot now. So you go to the depot. I need to add some more cars to it now because it can't carry uh, stone without box cars. So we'll wait till he heads back to his uh, site there. Can you go back there? No path. Well, there's certainly a path. You should be able to turn around. And then go this way. Oh, sir. Try that again. There, that's what we wanted. Okay, now we're uh, almost done with the logs to the circus. Okay, now let's modify our train a little bit more. So now back to configure vehicle. Uh, let's see, how would I make modifications to this? Uh, we want bigger boxcars for more stone. Boxcars are for explosives, gondola, bigger one. That's good. All right, let's go with one, two, three on that one. So back to the wrench, gondola, one, two, three. This might be a little too long, so let's get rid of one of these. We'll go in three and three. How about that? I don't want it to be too long for the stations. They're getting kind of short, so um, let's go back to line three. Excellent. Oh, wait, did I not click uh, confirm? Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Sorry, train. My mistake. At least I did pick the correct stuff. Okay, let's go back to the modify, back to three and three. There we go, that's what I wanted to do, is click modify. Looks like it's got four. Uh, let's try that again, it's 40 and 40, so let's actually buy, uh, you know what, I'm gonna risk it. If we, if we run too long, I wanna see if that works. Okay, now it's four and four, perfect. Proceed on line three. Cool. All right, now we gotta set up a shipping lane. That's delivering that stuff. Is this close enough? It is. Oh, okay. So stone, or rather, uh, stone is being shipped, let's make sure, from here to here. And then we do have a train that's bringing it still to this initial site here. So now that everything's connected, it should, as long as there's roadways coming out there, good. It should deliver the stone there now. Where's our ship? You are on line 11. Unable to find path no path for big ships. Um, oh. Are you too big for this round? This is line 11. Looks like it's too big of a ship for that. All right. What's going on with the controls here? Uh oh, it's getting stuck. Sir? Uh oh, the camera zoom is not wanting to stop. There it goes. All right, let's try to buy a new ship then. Maybe that one's too big. So we'll go with a smaller lake vessel. We'll go with two of these. And we'll go on line 11. All right, I guess the ship was too big for the lake. 
All right. Now they should be able to roll out and start delivering stone. All right, so steel should continue to be delivered. Let's make sure. Okay, stone should be being produced. Yep, looks like there is stone waiting there, or uh, steel being delivered, good. And then we're gonna ship it all the way up here. Excellent. It's gonna be a long mission, boys. This is gonna be a multi-parter for sure. And how are we doing? The hunters oh, have good. departed empty-handed. The bear disappeared. Word has it that it frightened a postman and stole his bicycle. Then the bear rode off with its tongue sticking out. Oh, okay. All right, now we need to dig up gemstones. So we'll have to figure out what southeast is. Is there a filter to show what direction is? Uh, contour lanes, navigatable waters, track speed. Hmm. I wonder if it says north or northwest on the map anywhere. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. It's one thing I don't know. Now, next is uh, to prevent the meeting, so we'll need to find the appropriate filter for that, too. Crowded stations, maybe? Oh, wow, look at all the stone here. Perfect. Lots and lots of stone. Train is coming on back. Oh, out of the way, buddy. Here comes our train again. We can extend it again if we want to. But technically, the train's already hauling two loads is enough to move the stone to where it needs to go. Hopefully, line 11 will be moving stone across as soon as the first shipment comes in. Excellent. We just need to wait now. So stone and steel should be delivered in time. Uh, we need to prevent the meeting with the appropriate filter and dr dig up gemstones. We'll have to figure out how to do that. And let's ch check out the problems with the other lines here. Uh, what's the exact problem? Is it because it's not profitable? Not sure exactly what... Uh, stations report the following problems. Transfer. Line 8. What exactly is the problem? It doesn't necessarily tell me. Uh, passenger stops cannot be used by cargo vehicles. Da, the noob did it again. <laughs> Newbie man was too newbie. Let's see, line 8 is where I made another goof up. That's right, I get so excited to play this game and just like see the lines working. And it is a little difficult to tell whether or not a... Uh, thing is when you're not using the filter, so I'll have to use that in the future to make sure I can determine which one is which. All right, line eight. Road vehicle 40-something. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Luckily, it's so it's so easy to make a change to these if you make a mistake. If you find the line, all you have to do is take the road vehicles. Should be an easy way to do it. Let's see. If we go to line eight, and we can just basically sell all these. It's so easy. Even a caveman can do it. Where is Line 8, anyway? Line 8 is here in the town. There we go. Not a problem. So super easy. Oh, and it looks like steel and stone are being delivered. Good. Stone will be on the next shift, I think. All right, back to our road depot. Now, this time, I'll just have to remember to filter by passenger, and we're good. Yay. Frustrating to watch YouTuber was yelling at my screen. Had to dislike. Unsubbed. All right, cool. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go with 10 to make up for the slow passenger delivery. <laughs> let's go ahead and check out how many stone is here now. 28, beautiful. And there's already 28 here too. So two deliveries and we should be good. And they're going back. So each delivery is 28 stone, 28 steel. Wow, this train has plenty of room. I thought it was much longer than that. Excellent. Now, Church Road has a problem too. Let's see what the problem on that one is. And what's the issue? Road vehicle seems to be correct. Uh... Cargo stop cannot be used as for passenger vehicles. Uh, where do we have a cargo stop? These seem to all be passenger stations. Oh, it's trying to go there instead of Church Road up here now. Okay, let's change one of the stops. It's kind of cool. Like it'd be f kind of fun if there was a mission where um, it, you know, like it would tell you like, oh hey, you know, this whole station is set up wrong or something like that. Like everything's. Like, fix all the problems and stuff like that. You know, like, oh, this line is really, really heavily used. Like, we need to build another line or something. Or, hey, reorganize the bus stops in a certain order to make it more efficient. And I bet that'll be a mission coming up. So this is good practice for the future. Always learning, always becoming better. And that's the name of No, unacceptable. Oh, okay. 
All right, let's see. Stone is going up next, and there goes our train, fully loaded with stone and steel. Beautiful. The construction train is making its way through. So then, wow, this is actually a really easy route. Like, this is really nice. This apparently required more materials, but it's the long route. What would the short route have been? A bridge? I think I like the route going around the, uh, the lake instead. Unless they made like a shortcut here by just building a bridge, but that just seems totally unnecessary. All right, let's see. So gemstones, anywhere that I can find those. Found on the steepest slope to the southwest. Well, where's like a steep slope? Is there anywhere where it's like a no-duh? That seems pretty like steep right there, right? Maybe. Could be there too. Man, we're gonna end up blowing all of our budget just on terraforming. Let's try everywhere. I'm just gonna try digging out every one of these slopes a little bit to see if it'll go since I can't tell what direction is which. Bum, 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 bum. Gives us a little break while we wait for the trains to be complete. It's done. The railroad project that has just been completed has safeguarded Russia's influence in Eastern Asia. Japan takes a very dim view of it. It has declared war on the Tsarist Empire and promptly attacked. The point now is to act as fast as possible. All right, time to Ensure that the munitions. supplies of materiel for waging war get to the Eastern Front. All right, transport munitions from the warehouse from A to B. So from, uh, so from here to there. So we need a munitions train now. So let's go ahead and modify our current train that was doing construction. Where are you at, sir? Uh, where'd it go? Ah, there it is. So we're going to modify this train. So let's head back to, uh, back to the depot. And let's get our war train ready. Head on back. All right, now we need to get a bunch of box cars. We're going to fully load this train ready to haul munitions. We need 150. So let's see how long this station is here. Not too long, but it needs to go here for the eastern front. All right, let's modify. Configure vehicle. Modify. So the box cars can hold munitions, right? Yeah, that's the only one they can haul. So let's get rid of these. All right. Let's go with eight. 96 capacity, so two trips, not a problem. So let's modify. And now we need to modify our route too. So the line needs to change. So that is line three. And we're just basically gonna go from point A to point B on this one. So let's change that up. We'll just delete the line altogether and go from here to there. For whatever reason, the camera's putting me in the corner. If I let go, I'm holding W, <laughs> so it's it's putting me in the corner. It's in, I'm in timeout right now. Um, okay, so that line is good to go from the munitions factory. So let's change our track train up. There we go, line three, I think it is. All right, so now we just need to uh, finish the deliveries. What's going on? There we go, the camera's finally let loose. All right, now let's check and see if our train is good. Our war train should be rolling out here. So I've made a mistake. Let's see. Uh, the depot. There's our train. Should be able to haul the correct material. Is line three no longer functioning? What's the new line that I created called? Well, it should be line three. And according to this, it should be able to make it through. Should it not be able to... Should be able to get to the first destination from here. According to this, there's a line drawn all the way to the first location. How can our train not get there? Is there a warning for this? No warnings. Waiting for a free path. Oh, it was waiting for the path to clear? This is our steel mill train. There shouldn't be another train on the line. Oh, there is. Actually, I'm mistaken. We have our... Uh, Yes, this train, the other one on the line. Well, this one's not even needed anymore, so let's just go ahead and sell it. Although, we could have two trains come through and be doubly efficient, so I can make a bypass lane somewhere for them. I had forgotten all about this train, that's why. Um, let's see. Well, let's put this train into the depot for now, get it out of the way. I refuse to move. Let's just sell them. There we go. Much easier to do that. And then we can modify the line and wait for the other train. Or we can just go in fast speed while we do our other objectives. All right, so the remaining uh, objectives now are to prevent the meeting and dig up gemstones. So let's get those done. 
So while I'm transporting uh, munitions, I'll figure out the other two. So let's see. Precise filtering will make the three rendezvous points visible. All right, let's find that. All right, I'm going to get these objectives done. Let's get out of here. We are done. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a red little circle here for the gemstones, and it says this is the southwest. Now, interesting enough, uh, we're picking up our munitions from uh, over here, which should be in the west. The war's in the east, right? So uh, here's the west, and we're at war in the east. So this must be the west if we're going over here. To the, we're delivering over here, so this should be the east side, right? So I'm going to dig up the gemstones there. I, I actually found it, so let's dig this up, finally. We discovered... What wonderful rare Perfect. specimens. It, this they is radiate an extremely though. unusual energy. This would be southwest. Uh-oh. Unusual energy? What the hell? Uh-oh. That means radioactivity. Hold on. The shaman was kind enough to hand over the gems to the tiger monster. He said it would be too dangerous for anyone else. Sure enough, the thing seems to be appeased. At any rate, no more material is vanishing into thin air. I wonder why there's a road here. There's a house there. Okay, disappearance stopped. Awesome. Cool. All right, we need to prevent the meeting. I've looked at some of the filters for that still. I still can't figure that out. Like, under destinations, uh, public transport, you, you'd think that'd be... Uh, glowing, but I couldn't find a building that was glowing, so I'll keep working on that one. I'll figure it out. Just trial and error. All right, let's move on to the next thing. And munitions are about to be delivered. We just need the train to get over there. All right, the war train is rushing to the station right now, and uh, we should complete our next delivery. This might be the end of the main campaign, but there's still the secondary objective of completing the preventing the meeting. And then there's a house somewhere out there, which I assume would be the uh, continuation of that, where we have to do one more like side quest goal so I'll get that done I actually did figure out how to do it by uh, looking at the you can look at the filtering options but it's a little strange to use there's uh, as you can see uh, destinations are in white and residential homes are in um, gray but I uh, kind of have to delete a bunch of buildings in order to you know find out the right one uh, because you know some of them are actually indicated as being high destinations so we'll kind of have to pick and choose but that should be the remaining munitions that are needed here at the depot so it looks like the uh, game just needs to count them up to 150 uh, in order to, like, put them into storage or whatever. All right, so let's move on to our next objective and see what it's all about. Lack of commitment, the war has sadly been lost. Aw. There were times when the good Tsar was more popular, too. But at least the Russian Empire is still left with the most impressive railroad line in the world. Awesome. So we can continue playing to complete the uh, other objective there. So I'll just save here and get that done on the side. I did figure out how to do it, but uh, we're out of time for today, and I want to move on to the next mission. So, great opportunity to come back and improve and do it again and play with a different route. All right, guys, if you want to see more of this, make sure you click or tap that like button, and I will see you next time. Welcome to the new subscribers, and we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for dropping by, everybody. That was cool. All right, let's get it done and move on to the next one.